what leadership means to me is really growing, developing people, um, seeing the potential in them and having them see it themselves. I try to use my uh, CEO title as contribution enabling officer instead of just chief executive officer. And it's really about helping my people, the, the ones that report for me, um, make extraordinary contributions. Leaders are made. It's a process of continual improvement. You can start anywhere and as long as you have um, goals that are not so much you know being good but getting better and continually improving um, that's that's what leadership's all about we've been in San Diego as a business for almost 20 years now and we work really closely with military and I've seen a lot of great examples of military leaders that now are just in charge of you know an aircraft carrier and running a great ship and running a great command but also really uh, having a good balance with what they contribute back to the community. We also are involved with Challenge Athletes Foundation, and there's a lot of business leaders that contribute to that. Overall, I just see you know some great leadership across the whole county of people giving back. We have six values that we've kind of had as a company, trust, empowerment, excellence, passion, teamwork, and innovation. And so each one of those, you know, we really spend quite a bit of time as we're hiring people, as we're re rewarding people, um, making sure that they're really clear and that they are aligned to the values we hold. Leading by example is, you know, the most important thing to express the values. You're, you're showing um, how, how to behave and you're really clearly defining the behaviors for employees. The culture is defined, you know, really by the values and the values of the leaders and how well they implement those. Within the junior high schools that we've actually been working with, one thing we notice is that there's a real good emphasis on star testing, math and English and science, but very few um, teachings on leadership itself. There's, a, there's some big gaps. The seven habits for highly effective teens has been a really good model for us that can kind of gets them thinking about being proactive instead of reactive, setting values and you know your vision or mission statement and then really being a good listener and some of the skills that you need more in business that we don't see coming in from school. We've actually spent quite a bit of time studying this gap and trying our best to help and I think getting other people in a leadership position to, to know and yet whether they get involved directly with students or um, donate to organizations that are doing so I think will really help as incoming um, employees are coming in from schools they'll be much better prepared. work hard and learn from all experiences. Um, some of the best learning that I've had was back in my teenage years as a busboy or a waiter, you know, in the service industry, really understanding how to please customers, how to listen to customers. Don't just go for the A, you know, don't go for a goal that's to be good, um, but go for a goal that's continuing to learn, you know, go beyond getting the A and get better. What leadership's all about is just continuing to improve yourself time over time. You can never be perfect. You can never get there to be, even at CEO, um, there's plenty more to learn, plenty more to get better on.